Wait, no! Early in the morning, woke up late today. Aaron is going to train the Doberman in about 20 minutes. He just got home. So in the meantime, she just woke up. So she was just in the cage for 10 hours. And um, you know, I, I want I don't want to tie her up just yet. I want to give her some exercise and let her roam around. Wait! A knock, pass, good. So now they just get to play. Him. All right, I'm gonna let them hang out here for a little bit. They're gonna be bonding for about 20 minutes. If they're there together, they're not there for more than one hour together. We're still acclimating them. We slowly increase the time. The one hour max right now. The Doberman is doing really good. Working her place and being calm inside the house. I have my bag full of high value treats. Been working with the prom collar. And we are up to 30 minutes now. We started with 15. And every three days we move up five minutes. And so now I'm able to kind of walk around and do what I want to do. And whenever I pass by her, I'll say good girl. I'll pet her and I'll give her some treats as long as she's on this place command. And so, don't get me wrong, she looks like an angel right now, but she's going to be getting up. She'll probably get up at least five times within this 30 minutes. It used to be, she used to get up 15 times. So, we're doing a lot better. And now that we have the prong collar on her, the corrections are a little bit harder. Because now she's bigger, she's stronger, and she needs, uh, she needs the correct correction with this exercise and it's not much all we do is we just I have a video on it um, training her with the martingale it's the same thing you know when she gets off of the place we pull up on the leash put pressure and we just bring her back to the to the place command when you do this kind of exercise you have to make sure that you're dedicated to the 30 minutes you know sometimes what happens is you're 20 minutes in and you see the dog, you know, maybe sleeping. Then you walk away and you take your eyes off on the dog. And then 10 minutes later, you come back and the dog's not there. And well, you just missed your opportunity to show your dog what you want. Now your dog's going to think every time you go into your room, the dog can escape. So it's real important that you're on top of it. And when the dog gets out of her place bed that you're there to correct her and lead her back and then after we're done with this exercise I'm gonna take her outside and we're gonna play a little bit of fetch and just let her know that you you know you did what I asked you to do you were nice and calm in the house so now I'm gonna give you what you want and we're gonna play some ball and there is a good example of a give-and-take relationship so we're 18 19 minutes in I'm kind of just going inside and out of my room, trying to trick the Doberman, but so far she's only got up three times. So that way she can't see me. Come back out. Still there. So I'm doing this for 30 minutes, so I got 10 more minutes to go. Good boy. All right, laying that eat together. Just gotta make sure that she doesn't go over to him. Let them know that they can both eat in peace and their phone, their food won't be taken away. So I'm just gonna come around and 
walk next to the dogs, let them get used to my presence while they're eating. She has a leash on her, so that way if she decides to go over here, I can just step on it and stop her. So no tension towards Uso. Uso has the food aggression problem, but it only happens when I touch him. When I, when I pet him, he growls. So I'm doing a 10 day thing where I let him eat in peace with my presence around him. I don't bug him. I don't take away his food. I'm just trying to let him know that if I'm around you, you don't have to be protective. I'm not going to take your food away. That's the whole point of me doing this. And at the same time, I'm introducing the Doberman to let them eat together so that way they can get used to eating next to each other without feeling like they have to compete. So right now, the Doberman is on a sit stay. She can't move. I'm adding, I'm adding distractions. I'm pretending like I'm opening the door. Usually when you open a door like this, doesn't matter if it's a gate, your front door, your room door. Usually when you open a door like this, the dog automatically assumes it's time to go through the door. So I'm teaching her to resist. Anything that you see, any kind of action that you see, don't worry about it. Just pay attention to me. When I give you the release word, that's when you're able to go through the door. So I'm going to step in and out. I'm also going to pull on her leash. I'm going to give her some pressure. She's resisting it. It's exactly what I want. Yeah. Pulling on the leash. She's not going. Opening the door. She's not going. I'm walking through. She's not going. Pulling on the leash. She's not going. It's perfect. Good girl. Now she can go. A knock. Sit. Sit. Good. Pull on a leash. She should stay. Perfect. See so yeah, how she's staying. She's resisting. This is the this is the next level up, you guys. And this is the this is uh, why you do this. Okay. Hey. She sits up. Give her another command, reinforce it. So remember, she's not able to get up unless I tell her to. I'm building up her, her duration on sit and stay while adding pressure. As you can see, she wants to explore this new area. It's a new area that we just went through. She hasn't been here yet today. So she's itching to go and smell around. But she knows no matter what, if I pull on the leash, if I walk around, she has to wait for my command. Break a girl. Go smell. Go enjoy. There you go. And so I didn't give her any treats. I didn't give her the ball. Shh, 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 shh. She's eating off the floor. No eating off the floor. I correct her. I um I purposely put dog food right here to trap her. And um you know I'll put more too. Every day. Every day I come out here, I put more food so I know this is the exact spot where I leave food. So if she ever comes down this way and, and eats it, I'm going to give her a correction. Because it doesn't matter where we go, she's not supposed to eat it. She's not supposed to eat anything off the floor. I'm going to go ahead and spend some time with her here. Let her smell around. Let her enjoy the environment around her. And uh, I'm going to put the camera down because I want to be focused on her. And uh, I want to make sure that she doesn't eat anything. Her eating things off the floor is our main behavioral um, concern. Because she got sick eating chicken poo. And that cost us uh, probably around $200. Just for medicine and vet checkup. And, you know, we had to wait in line for like four hours. And so it's not easy when your dog gets sick, you know, there's a lot involved um, and it's very stressful. So in order to prevent this from happening again, I have to take the extra time 
to um, train her and to watch over her and make sure that she doesn't eat things off the floor anymore. Sometimes we have to boost up the morale to keep the, the relationship fun, life fun, the spirit high. So after we train, I give her the ball just to let her hold on to. And then uh, you'll see, I'm gonna walk up here. I'm gonna go walk back to the house. And when she follows me, she's gonna be holding the ball with her. And so if you if you time it right and you do it right, you you play and train with the ball the right way, she's going to she's going to um, develop a possession over that ball. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. For me, I like it. I like the way she'll hold on to it. I like the way she carries it. So she left it. Watch. Go get your ball. Where's your ball? So I can easily do that. I can easily give her a command and she'll find her ball. And that makes it easier for me um, to play with her because she has a better sense of smell. Let's see. Good girl. She got it. She has a better sense of smell. So she'll be able to find the ball a lot faster than I can. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Down. Sit. Down. Yes. Down. Yes. Down. Good girl. You did one good one. Yeah! <laughs>